What's going on, YouTube? How you doing? This is Tech Extremist. Welcome to In the Tech News. Fixed broadband and wired broadband are getting all the funding attention right now. Uh, you know, they're trying to find ways to connect rural communities and lower income communities in a way that will help the economy, help them connect. Uh, if you have a better connection, it can help the economy because that means more people can participate in said economy. Uh, however, there is one thing that is getting ignored, and I think it's important that we highlight that this can be very important as well. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the FierceWireless.com article here. All right, FierceWireless.com. Why isn't 5G getting more broadband funding? All right, so interesting question. Why isn't 5G getting more, you know, broadband funding? Considering that a lot of people use their devices to connect to the internet, and with today's connections, you know, some of these devices are providing some really good speeds, and we're talking about smartphones, tablets, but I think that there is one type of device that could be highlighted a little bit more, and that could potentially be a game changer if it was included, but it's really not talked about, and to me it's puzzling because this type of device has the potential to be a complete game changer. It's nothing new, but if it was pushed as a, as a solution for rural connectivity, it could be a complete game changer. And of course, I am talking about laptops. We're gonna use the Verizon website as an example. They sell a bunch of them. There's also the Chromebook, uh, excuse me, the Samsung Book S, which is not here, a relatively powerful device, and it's got 5G connectivity, all right? And here, you have some examples that are actually pretty low in price or relatively speaking. Now let's look at the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Go. You can get one for $349.99. Now that is not super cheap, but it's relatively cheap. You can get one of these, put Verizon internet on it, and you have a full-fledged computer. Now this is Chromebook OS, OS so some people might not you know, feel too comfortable with it. But there is Windows laptops, like I mentioned, the, the, the Book S from Samsung. And there's also, uh, you know, computers like the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet uh, 3i. This is a $580 laptop, and it has Windows on it. With 5G connectivity, think about, you can pretty much do anything that you can do on any other laptop or any other desktop on one of these computers and have full 5G connectivity. If you're a gamer, this is not a good solution for you. But if you are a person that's trying to run their office from home and you live in a rural community, this might be the type of solution that you are seeking. No need to go get T-Mobile Home Internet or any other type of fixed wireless. If you just need that laptop for connectivity for your business, that could get you right into the uh, you know, internet so you can compete better with other businesses. Uh, because one of the things that the internet allows, it puts you on a level playing field with other, uh, you know, businesses if you need to compete in whatever market, especially if it's a market that relies on the internet a lot, which is pretty much anything nowadays, right? You can think of almost any industry and you absolutely need the internet to you know put in orders to communicate with vendors uh, all kinds of things that you need to do send invoices all kinds of things that you used to be able uh, that, that you used to be able to do with paper you can now do it online and you could do it for you know much bigger distances obviously because of the internet so i think that this should get a lot more attention the ability to connect to the internet is the key and to do it with a good amount of speed again is key and a laptop like this which by the way most of these you can connect to a bigger monitor uh, you know would be very ideal to connect to the internet uh, and not have to worry about getting you know a satellite provider that doesn't provide good internet maybe DSL is available in your rural location or maybe you're low income and you already have a Verizon phone and you want to add you know, home internet, but it's too expensive or it's just not available where you live uh, or the, you know, fixed wireless option is too much. Maybe you can, you know, get 
one of these laptops and add the uh, plan, which are usually twenty to thirty dollars a month, if you already have a line and have full connectivity and a full fledged computer. Anyway, just my idea. I think this should be getting a lot more attention. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. What's one of the ways that we can get these out to more people? Maybe subsidize the devices for low income and rural locations. Uh, maybe you know subsidize the plans. What do you think? What would be a good idea? Maybe encourage Verizon, T-Mobile, and, and AT&T to offer even cheaper plans through these types of subsidies. Who knows, right? All kinds of ways you can do this. Maybe you prefer tax breaks. Hey, that's cool too. Whatever, as long as you're getting something for people that need it. But anyway, I really appreciate y'all watching. Hit like, subscribe, subscribe, comment. Make sure you hit that ring notification bell. You all have a good one.